When it comes to DSLRs, one of the biggest things we've learned is that you have to pair your lenses to the specific shoot that you're on. We've shot everything from weddings, a feature length documentary, and commercial shoots. And while we have our go-to set of primes that we bring with us everywhere, we're always catering our set of lenses to what that shoot needs and requires. And so what we're going to talk about today are five lenses that you've probably heard of, but some interesting applications that we've learned over the years. The first one I want to talk about is actually a kit lens that comes in a lot of Canon packages, and that's the 24-105 to f4 IS. Now what's amazing about this lens is that it allows for such a wide focal length with the image stabilizer. A lot of Canon's image stabilized lenses are on the longer focal range, like a 70 to 200. For years, we didn't even use this, and it just sat on our shelf. And then when we made the connection that we can use an IS with a 24 millimeters, it became our go-to tool when we wanted to shoot on an airplane, in a car, outside of a moving bus, all kinds of things that required moving shots where we couldn't fit in a steady cam. So paired with a monopod, all of this footage is shot with the 24 to 105 IS at the wider end, and notice how smooth it looks. The next lens is one of our favorites. It's the 1428 rectilinear. This is something that we started renting from Lens Pro to Go a couple years ago, and we found it works just perfectly with our Steadicam, a slider, or a crane. Because it's so wide, it offers a really exaggerated image, and that's great to really amplify the look of your movement. We often walk with a Steadicam, but paired with the 14, it looks like we're running. The other great thing is that since this is a rectilinear lens, the distortion looks very natural. As compared to something like the 16 to 35 f2.8 lens that Canon makes, the distortion is much more pleasing out of this lens. The next lens is the 135 f2. Now a lot of people see this lens and they wonder why would I use this over a 70 to 200 f2.8 when that offers something so similar, 2.8 as opposed to f2 with this, but it offers a wider focal range. Well we choose the 135 because of how small it is, so it's great for travel. It also offers a really short minimum focusing distance of only three feet. That means you're gonna get really shallow depth of field because your subject is really close to your camera. And when you do get shallow depth of field out of this lens, you're gonna notice that the background blur or bokeh is really, really pleasing. When you pair that with our next lens, the 1.4 converter, you get great diversity in a really small package. The 1.4 converter is a low cost option to get a lot more diversity out of many of the lenses that you have. Now you have to check Canon's website for the compatibility list to see exactly what lenses it's going to work with, but it does work with the 7200-28. It also works with the 135. And that means that we can take this little converter and it's going to multiply your focal length by 1.4. You're gonna lose one stop of light, but it means that you get a lot more diversity out of your lenses and you only have to take a really small lens. Our last lens is the 1 to 400 f4 to 5.6. This also works really well with the 1.4 converter and gives you a great focal range to go from a medium shot all the way into a super close up. This is a push pull lens, which means you actually push or pull the lens in and out to zoom in. That allows you to actually zoom and focus with one hand. The great application there is if you're shooting with a monopod, one hand can zoom and focus, and the other hand can keep stabilizing your camera. We've shot a lot of sports, and when we use a 7200, a lot of times you need a hand to focus and zoom, and it means you get a much less stable image. One of the biggest things we can suggest is to try these lenses before you buy them. Not every lens is right for every person, and certainly not every lens is right for every situation. Over the years, our friends at Lens Pro to Go have provided us with every lens from the 14 all the way up to the 800, and some of them have worked beautifully, and at times it's not the right fit either. So the biggest thing is, go out there, try them, and see what works for you.